Hello everybody, today we're going to talk a little bit about probability. So the probability of an event is a number that measures the likelihood that the event is going to occur. So probabilities are always between 0 and 1, including 0 and 1. So uh, if the probability is 0, there is no chance of this thing happening. If the probability is 1, then it's going to happen. And so somewhere in between there is where most things fall. So this is a diagram here um, that shows likelihoods uh, that uh, something's going to occur. So here you have 0. That's impossible. And uh, here is 1, which is absolutely certain it's going to occur. 1 half, 0.5, could go either way. Anything above 75% is likely to occur. Anything below 25% is unlikely to occur. Okay? So I'd take a second and I'd kind of look at that, uh, that picture there a little bit and make sure I understood what that meant. Okay, there's an 80% chance of thunderstorms tomorrow. Describe the likelihood of the event. Well, an 80% chance is going to fall right about here. Okay, a little bit more than 75. That's very likely. So we would say it's, uh, it's very likely uh, to have a thunderstorm. Now, when you hear weather reports, they're always percentages. So it can be an 80% chance of rain. That means when those conditions occur, 20% of the time it doesn't rain, but 80% of the time it does. So it's not a guarantee that it's going to rain. Okay, so the probability that you land a jump on a snowboard is one half. What is the likelihood of it occurring? Well, one half, that'd be right here. So that's definitely, you know equally likely uh, to either occur or not occur. I think most people understand that. If, if the probability is a half, that's 50%. It's going to happen once, it's going to not happen once. So. Um, you know, it's a toss-up. You can't really predict. Okay, when all possible outcomes are equally likely, the probability of an event is the ratio of the number of favorable outcomes to the number of possible outcomes. So the probability of an event is written as, like this, P of whatever the event is. So we write this, P, the probability of the event is the number of favorable outcomes divided by the number of possible outcomes. So if I roll a single die, what is the probability of rolling an odd number? Well, there's three odd numbers out of six faces. Okay, so the probability of the event is going to equal, here we should write it like this, probability of rolling odd number is 3 out of 6 because there's 3 odd numbers and there's 6 spaces. Okay, so that's 1 and 2. It's equally likely that you'll either get an odd number or an even number. Okay, the probability that you randomly draw a short straw from a group of 40 straws is 3 and 20. How many short straws are there? Okay, so this is a, this is just a proportion, okay? So I know the probability is 3 and 20, okay? And I know that there's 40 straws, okay? So I want to know how many short straws there are. That's going to go right there. And remember when we solve a proportion, we multiply the two numbers diagonal and divide by the other ones. So this would be a 40 times 3 divided by 20, which is going to, 20 will go in here twice, 2 times 3 is 6, there's 6 short straws.
Okay, so I'm going to let you guys uh, take a look at 1 through 27 odd next time. I'll see you guys in class. Have a great evening.